Super AI Super Track Competition 2023 Star Alliance Race Theme and Rules To further improve production and living standards, they will form an interstellar alliance to protect the new home and will drive a new ship through the stars to start a new round of interstellar exploration. This competition requires young students to use self-made robots to write programs at the competition site and to perform debugging and complete competition tasks. The theme of this competition is Star Alliance. Team Formation The competition is divided into three groups, elementary school, middle school, and high school, and is completed in teams. Each team consists of one to two contestants and one to two tutors. Specifications of the arena The competition map is based on the one announced at the competition site, where the maximum field size is 5,000 mm long and 2,000 mm wide. The competition map has an irregularly distributed flight path consisting of a black track line of 20 mm to 30 mm in width and a white background, and the flight path is the main area for robot activities. On the left side of the map, there is a 250 mm long and 250 mm wide launch zone in blue, which is the area where the robot starts. On the left side of the map, there is a 300 mm long and 300 mm wide alliance zone in red, which is the end zone where the robot will travel. The flight path is distributed with one fixed mission area, which is marked with a symbol such as one and the corresponding mission model is fixed in the selected mission area by the referee. Requirements for robot design. Each team uses one robot. The maximum size of the robot in the starting area is 25 cm x 25 cm x 50 cm. After leaving the startup area, the robot's mechanism can be extended. Only one controller is allowed per robot. No more than four controller motor ports and no more than eight input and output ports. Built-in 2.4 color LCD display. The robot is allowed to enter as a complete machine prior to the first round of entry, but must pass a thorough inspection to ensure compliance with the regulations. Description of the mission. There is an irregular flight path distributed on the field. The robot needs to start from the launch zone and follow the flight path, complete the task set on the flight path and arrive at the alliance zone to end the competition before the end of the competition. Tasks of the robot. In the following robot tasks, alliance route planning is an additional task. The judge will specify the flight path before the start of programming and debugging for the elementary school group, while the middle school and high school groups will be required to complete the task according to the standard, but the completion of the task will not affect the remaining time points. The rest of the tasks are basic tasks, and the task area of the basic tasks are set according to the requirements of the task rules and the corresponding task area in the venue. The task of space-time energy transfer is only set for the middle school and high school groups. Successful launching. Complete separation of the robot's vertical projection from the launch zone during the start phase. Flight path. If any of the robot's drive wheels touches the dividing line of a flight path. Alliance Victory Reunion Robot enters the Alliance area. The controller screen must clearly display the Alliance font in red on a white background. Activate the Alliance system. When the system is activated, the control system will display the X mark. Spacetime Energy Transfer The energy blocks are worn on the roulette, and the robot needs to turn the handle to make the roulette rotate and drive the energy blocks to fall. Alliance Route Planning the robots in the middle school group and the high school group need to pull out the joystick to make the cube rotate more than one circle and randomly display a pattern. The pattern of cubes facing the flight path specifies which flight path the robot needs to follow. Randomness of tasks. Except for the Alliance route planning task, the positions of the Activate Alliance system and space-time energy transmission task models are not fixed and the position and direction of the task will be determined by the referee drawing lots before programming and debugging starts. Duration The duration of a single round is 180 seconds. Only when all the basic tasks and random tasks set by this group get full marks within the specified time can the remaining time score be obtained. The single game score of the team is to be calculated after each game. The single game score is the sum of the task score, the remaining time score, and the reset deduction score.